I'm Elisa Morgan for Discover the Word, and with me is Tori Robinson. Tori's been a guest recently with Discover the Word, and we're so happy to have him here. We also, though, wanted to take a few minutes because, as you know and you care, Dr. Haddon Robinson, who was the major host of Discover the Word for some 20-something years, has stepped down and is no longer with us, and we would love to have an update on how he's doing. Tori, how is your dad? Sure. Well. Very recently, we were at the neurologist, and he said that what Dad has is called Parkinson's Plus. That means he doesn't have the typical tremor that arms shake and is very noticeable. That's, I guess, a positive, but the, the negative is it tends to be a little bit more aggressive, and it seems to um, really zap his strength a lot. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, I think uh, the momentary light afflictions, they're not so momentary or light, but I, I know that he's trusting God through this. And uh, I've, I told him the other day, I said, even when you're going through this, or maybe especially when you're going through this, you're still teaching me an awful lot. That's powerful. Now, Haddon Robinson was a mentor to me as well for much of my, everything I've learned in, in discovering the word. Um, he still does teach us all, you know, even in the foundations he's laid in this particular radio Bible study that we do together. There's nothing like it that's a conversation with regular folks around the Word of God where we have this interactive, real, real-time, authentic discovery of the Word of God. What kind of legacy do you think he really still cares about leaving here around the table where listeners gather together? I think one of the most difficult parts of his Parkinson's really is he so loved this ministry and the people who are part of it and uh, was genuinely concerned about the people who listened. And I, I know that he's excited that there's a new crew that's doing great things. And I know he would love to see things even grow from what they've been because this, this matters a lot to him and the people who listen matter a lot to him. I know that your mom and your dad, both Bonnie and Haddon, pray for listeners all the time. They're faithful prayer warriors. And I think we want to return that and be praying for them as well in this unexpected but nevertheless real season of their lives. Tori, how can we pray for, for your dad and for your mom and for your whole family, for your sister, for yourself and your wife? Mm. Um, I think really as, as we're talking with about James in, in our series this, this week, um, that Dad will be able to somehow see God's hand in this. I just think suffering that see, has no purpose and that kind of this Parkinson's has a way of being that kind of a disease, that he might somehow see God's hand in it and have his strength. And that mom and dad, I see them working as a team, that they might continue to do that. And, uh, and then for my sister and myself, that we just have wisdom to know how to, how to encourage them and help them and support them. Thanks for your honesty. I know it's bittersweet to, to be here sharing in the legacy yourself and yet missing his presence here. And we do ask that you continue to pray for Dr. Haddon Robinson and his entire family. They're precious to us and we're grateful for them. I'm Elisa Morgan for Discover the Word.